Now we've looked at a few different ways that you can export data using downloads like CSV files or PDFs, uh, but we might want to actually just share the data that we have within Google Sheets itself. Now, fortunately, this is pretty easy for us to do. We have this share button right in the top right corner and we're going to click that button. Now, we have a couple of options. We can get a shareable link, so we could say click that get shareable link and once we do that it's going to create this link it's going to set it up so that anybody with that link can view this spreadsheet and we can even just copy that right to our clipboard so we can paste that later uh, now we might not want to do that so we can undo that pretty easily we can just go ahead and say off and then we can share with with certain people so you know I could uh, go ahead and type in a email address here and we could allow someone else to edit this so we can actually put in a nice note take a look at this data and I'm gonna send that so now that that's sent someone can come in and access this spreadsheet so what you're actually going to see we have a nice uh, we have an alternative account here and you can see uh, we've shared this they're going to get this nice email that says hey take a look at this and when they click on this you'll see that they have access to, to view this pretty easily they can kinda come in here and take a look at what's actually in the spreadsheet uh, and you can see that you know somebody else is in here we, we kinda know each other so it's easy to it's easy to identify and you know now I could you know make some changes I can format you know I can do anything like this uh, you know so if we wanna make, make this bold and italic instead so we can make these changes now these are made in the spreadsheet that was shared so when we go back to the original spreadsheet you'll notice here we have this bold and italic has changed so that's reflected in this one spreadsheet maybe we don't want this person to actually uh, to actually modify so we can click the share button again and we can change this so we can go into we can either click right on who this is shared with or we can go into advanced we can actually revoke those permissions to share so if I hit save changes then this other user will not be able to make any more modifications maybe what I really wanted to do was I wanted to share this so that they could view it but maybe not make changes so I can share and we can go ahead and type in that address again now I can modify this so that they can either comment or only view so if I click can view we'll just type in a nice little message we go ahead and hit send now we'll see that we have access to the, well this is the message you get when the sharing is revoked so we'll hit reload but since our access has now been able to view we can come in and take a look at this and if we look at our, our email we should see there's another message hey invited you to view the spreadsheet so from here, you know, I can't make any modifications if I type, you know, I can't I can't really change anything. But what I can do is I can go to file, make a copy. And I can give this a name here. We'll just say my copy and I hit okay. Now I can make the modifications that I would like to make or I can change this. I can really do anything and you'll notice here if I, you know, let's say we change this whole background color We'll go ahead and modify that so that it's maybe blue instead of green. We'll see when we go back to the original, it's still the same. This copy is changed, but this original that we copied it from is still green. So this way we can it makes it easier for us to share data the data kind of is formatted the way we like and we can take a look at you know the, the different setup the different configurations all within Google Sheets without having to deal with the download and upload process very simple to just share send the email and and take a look at the data so most of the time when we're sharing data we'll, we'll probably be using the actual share button instead of the import and export